Hey, what's up you guys? Eric AFG here bringing you another action figure review. And this is of the Diamond Select Alfred Pennyworth. Um, this is not an Alfred I necessarily wanted, but I guess you could say I need it for my customization. And um, I'll get into the specifics on that in a little bit. But um, this, is, this is a very nice figure. Um, so let's just jump right into it for those of you who don't know who Alfred of, of, of Pennyworth is, I don't know, you know if you've been living in the box or what, but he's Bruce Wayne's butler, he's his, he's his father figure, he's his confidant, you know, he's pretty much everything that's, you know, essential to Batman. Um, he's the man behind the bat, I guess you could say. Uh, well, he's in front of him right now, but anyway. Stand Batman off to the side there, but let's get a good look at this figure. So, very nicely sculpted. I really like the sculpt on this figure. I think it's uh, pretty solid. I do not watch the Gotham uh, television show, uh, by the way. Never was interested in that show, so not interested. It's in its last season. I don't really care. Um, but from you know the pictures and trailers and things that I've seen online, I think this is pretty accurate to the actor's um, likeness. I actually like it uh, quite a bit. Um, I'm kind of sad that I'm going to turn this into a uh, a custom uh, body mold for um, Mr. Uh, uh, Bruce Wayne right here, if I can. So th that should be fun. But um. So, uh, yeah, very nice sculpting detail all around, um, all throughout the suit, uh, the wrinkles, you know, you know, just all that very nice sculpt detail in the hair, very nice uh, uh, features. The paint gets a little sloppy around this area, but it's not a big deal. I love the blue um, handkerchief right there. You see the buttons you know open up and you see the vest you know he got this watch chain going on there which looks really spiffy go ahead Alfred go ahead with your badass um, you know see these little details you see the details in his boots here very 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 nice I think it's very nicely sculpted I'll give it to Diamond Select you know they definitely know what they're doing so jump right to articulation left right up about that much, not a lot. Down about uh, barely at all um, for rotation. Arms, uh, nothing cut up there. Got a single bend at the elbow. I thought it was a double joint. It's really tight on mine, so like I don't really want to force it. Um, there is there a hinge? Yes, it is. There is a hinge up and down. Full turn rotation in the wrist. Um, he does have this interesting swivel action going on here. So you can really get old Alfie in <laughs> the best possible uh, turn poses you, you, you can if you want to. Arms go out about, yeah, that much. Arms go out about that much. And uh, let's see, you got double jointed knees. You have an upper, yep. You have upper thigh cut going on there. Yeah, double jointed knees. Let's see, and what else we got going on here? And you have a very interesting ankle rocker down here. I mean, look at this. So. That's what's going on with Alfred's articulation. Very nice, very nice uh, uh, for a figure like this. I should be able to get some Bruce Wayne poses in very, very nicely, which I, I much appreciate. I think that this is a very good looking, solid figure. Um, I actually wouldn't mind this being my mainstay, um, Alfred uh, Pennyworth. Uh, figure if I wasn't trying to use them for a custom body mold but since I am you know that kind of sucks so the head's got to go but um very solid figure um very impressed 
Yeah, so uh, this is a pretty solid um, Alfred uh, Pennyworth figure. Um, I bought him used off of eBay. Um, you can see some scraping and scuffage there on his hand. So, you know, it's not like I got him brand new out of packaging or I doubt that that would even be there. But then again, you never know uh, with figures. But no, but, um, you know, and in all seriousness, um, I brought him used. Um, uh, yes, like I was saying earlier, if you don't know who Alfred Pennyworth is, you have been living under a rock for like the past decade. Uh, even people who are not familiar with the comic books knows who Alfred Pennyworth is. So he is Bruce Wayne's pretty much everything. And I mean that quite in a literal sense. He's his father, his doctor, his, you know, his confidant, his partner, his everything. So he really is the man behind the bat. Um, he's a, he's probably no, not even probably no. He is the the most important person in Bruce Wayne's life. Um, there's been many different iterations of Batman. So this Alfred Pennyworth, like. I never watched the Gotham show, like I said, but from the depiction I can kind of tell off of him, he looks more like the militarized uh, version, you know, of Alfred, you know, like who, you know, served, you know, in the military and all that, special ops and all that. So, you know, he's pretty much a badass Alfred, you know what I mean? So there's been that depiction of Alfred, there's been the other depictions of Alfred that, you know, we're all familiar with where, you know, he's just strictly been the butler and, you know, and just uh, been in the medical field, you know, and all of that. So, you know, that's your feel with Alfred, uh, 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 pretty much, I would say. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, he does have like that uh a player player ring you know on his uh pinky finger there so i think that that's a nice touch on the figure as well and for a semi comparison he, this figure is definitely taller than batman because this mezco batman is definitely six inches tall um and this alfred is definitely seven inches tall so you can really kind of see that so when i customize him into my bruce wayne the height won't match up but you know what it doesn't really matter um, it's a pretty solid figure and I like the detail of the suit so that's the reason I'm going to do it so yeah um, I say that if you're a fan of the Gotham TV show or if you don't have an Alfred Pennyworth in your collection I already do have one I still feel like I need an updated one I would have actually chose him like I said if I wasn't going to use him for a custom body mold but um, seeing as how I am I cannot use him as my Alfred Pennyworth on display. So, let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, and uh, I say he's worth a pickup, um, you know, if you're interested. And until the next time, guys, see ya.